Okay, good. So I would like to share to you about our class rules and our schedule in this semester. Okay, but first of all, I would like to say congratulations to all of you because right now you are in the new class. Okay, from grade 10 to grade 11. Congratulations for that. And in this semester, I will teach you English. And let us take a look about what we should do and what we should not do in this class. Okay? All right. So the class rule and the class schedule. But before that, I would like all of us, okay? All of us to share. What should we share? All right, I have three questions for you. This is easy. The first one is, how was your experience in learning English? Okay, all of you must answer this. How was your experience in learning English? And then the second one, how do you learn English in your daily life? The third question will be, what is your goal after completing this subject? Okay, so to open this discussion, to open this class, I have three questions. How was your experience in learning English? Gimana pengalaman kamu ketika belajar English? Okay, and then the second one, how do you learn English in your daily life. Gimana sih cara kamu belajar Inggris setiap hari? Okay? And then the last question, pertanyaan terakhir adalah, what is your goal after completing this subject? Okay? Apa goal kamu? Apa harapan kamu? Atau ekspektasi kamu ketika menyelesaikan kelas ini? Okay? Yep. This is easy. Who would like to share? Who would like to share your thought, your idea? Siapa mau kasih tahu share pendapat? Yo, click raise hand. If you want to answer, click raise hand. Don't be shy, ya. Jangan malu, okay? Don't be shy. And don't feel worry. Ya, jangan takut, okay? Okay, I give you time, one minute to think about this. Ya, satu menit, yuk pikir. One minute to thinking about this. And you will answer these three questions. How was your experience in learning English? How do you learn English in your daily life? And what is your goal after completing this subject? Okay, Sir. one minute. Okay, Jennifer, ready? No, I want to ask you. Okay. What do you mean by experience in learning English? Okay, experience is like this. You, like, where did you learn English? And how do you feel when you learn the material? Who helped you? Okay, something like that. Yeah, your experience in learning. Okay? Okay, Jen? Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Somebody? Come on, don't be shy. Okay, I will choose, yeah? I will choose... The first one will, oh, somebody raise hand. Monica, raise hand. Okay, I will do it first. I'm so sorry if my English isn't good enough. Okay, uh, how was your experience in learning in learning English? 
Uh, I know English. Uh, I know English is from my from I was kindergarten because there is in my school there's English subject okay. and um when I'm learning English I think it's unique because like this is a uh, I think it's my third language because hmm. I speak uh Hokkien Indonesia and English so I think it's unique like why English is a uh, can be my third language is kind of unique and then um my experience from learning english is amazing because i'm i can speak with outside of the indonesia people i can speak with another another people in another country with english mm-hmm. okay that is my experience in learning english how do you learn english in your daily life um i'm learning english in my daily life is i have a friend that uh, outside of the indonesia So, uh, when I speak to them, I uh, use English. So, I learn English from um, talking to each other with another country friend. And then, uh, what is your goal after completing this subject? My goal after completing this subject is I will teach people that cannot speak English, cannot speak English well. So, so they can speak english well so i will teach them and tell them that english is important too because uh i i found many people that don't think english is important they just like oh english um english just um a subject that you have to learn after you learn like yaudah yaudah sih like <laughs> okay by the way okay. where is your first <laughs> What sir? I cannot see your face clearly. Where is your face? Okay, yeah. Okay, continue. That's it, sir. So, That's it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So, Monica thinks that English is kinda unique, and it is her third language. So the first one is Hokkien, and then Bahasa Indonesia, and the last one is English. And her goal is she wants to teach other people to master English because she thinks that English is necessary. Is that right, Monica? Yes, sir. Okay, and how do you learn it? How do you learn it? Well, uh, learn it how, how in my daily life. Mm-hmm. I learn it um from my another country friends. Oh yeah, yeah. You mentioned that another friends from another country. Yeah, that's good because you practice with the other language speaker. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, practice, practice, and practice. Okay, that's great. Next student, please. I want to hear your voice. Who wants to tell me? Oni, raise hand. Okay, Stephanie. Okay. Can I start now? Yeah, of course. Okay, first, how was my experience in learning English? Um, not much, just like school basic lesson, but it's fun with previous teacher, like the one that, uh, before you, sir. Yep, okay. And then? And the second, how do my, how do I learn English in my daily life? Um, I guess watching movies and YouTube kind of improve my English. Yeah. And third, what is my goal after completing this subject? Mm, maybe being fluent in English. And I hope that I don't feel burdened while learning English. Yeah, that's, that's good. all. 
Yep, great talk. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie. Next student, I want to hear your voice. Don't be shy. Jennifer? Oh, Deborah, raise hand. Okay, Deborah. Please. Um, okay. Can I start? Okay, you can start. Okay, for the first question, um, I have very good experience in learning English. And now I think I'm at the level where I can understand English uh, spontaneously and then, but I feel a little bit confused in grammar. So I need to, I need to provide you this info. And then, um, okay. for the second question, uh, in my daily life, I learn English uh, from movies and songs. Mm -hmm. um, and then for the third question, I hope uh, I can do, I can be better uh, than before. I can study the grammar more before. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Thank you for your opinion. What about the other? Who wants to tell me? Don't be shy. We learn together. Okay, let me choose. Let me choose. Asia? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, in question, question number one is my experience in learning English. My experience in learning English is only in school from kinder kindergarten until now. Uh, Question number two, I usually learn English every day from watching movies or YouTube. And number three, my goal by studying these lessons is I can, is that I can deepen my English, especially in conversation. Conversation. Okay. That's it, sir. Thank you, Keisha, Natalie. Okay. What about? Okay, I want to hear your voice, Angeli. What about you? Um, first I learn. I get my English subject uh, when I was in kindergarten. Second, um, I got uh, I learn English from movies and song. Okay. Uh, and third, my goals oh. in... Where's your face? Uh, I... I'm charging my phone, sir. Oh, okay. You're charging your phone? Alright. My goals okay, in this subject is maybe if I already get, uh, get better in this subject i can be my own tour guide so we no need to we okay no need to run a tour guide yeah all right yeah that's a great ambition we have okay thank you what about okay how about Uh, Saren, can you tell me? Yes, sir. Can I? Um, okay. Number one, how was your experience in English, in learning English? Uh, I think the very common language in this world is English, right? So, 
uh, I think it's so, I'm so excited in learning English in school. Uh, but sometimes I need people to teach me grammar because uh, I cannot see your face. Yes, I turn off my camera because I'm using my so a lot of you could not hear me in a far position, right? Can you turn it on? You cannot yes. hear us? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, and number two, how do you learn English in your daily life? I think I learn English from others' conversation, like when someone talking about English and I don't know what they they are talking about, then I will find the meanings of the words that I could not understand. And I also learn English from movies or uh, action film like and uh, and TV channels <laughs> like that. Just that. Okay. And number three. What is your goal after completing? Of course, I could. Uh, I hope that I can speak fluently. I can speak English fluently like that. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah. What about Kitaro? Can you tell us? Well, how was your experience in learning English? I don't really like English. Oh, why is it? Uh, ada trauma waktu kecil. What is it? Ada trauma. Okay. Terus yang number two, how do you learn English in your daily life? Watching a movie. Number three, I don't know. Number three, you don't know. Okay. Thank you for telling us. Natania. Now it's your turn to share with us your story. Turn on your mic. Hello. Okay. I want to hear you. Okay. For me, uh, English is one of difficult lesson because uh, one. there are hello. Yes. Why is it difficult? Oh, because uh, because there is uh, some because there is some um, something that I still don't understand. Such as like uh, the grammar or what anything. Okay. And then uh, I learn English. Uh, from like when I watching a video, mm -hmm. like uh, someone play a game or uh, that's it, I think. Okay. And then uh, my goal after completing this subject is I can. Uh, fully understand about English and I can speak other I can speak with other with English All right, thank you Not, Never stop trying Okay What about Michael Can you tell me Michael? Ah. Uh, uh... My experience in learning English, well, pretty fun and pretty simple. I usually talk a lot about English and I watch a lot of Western movies. So yeah, I got my knowledge from there. I mean, that's 
that's kind of the answer for question two. But yeah, that's how I know English. Plus, I talk to a lot of people outside from the world because I don't know. Maybe talking in my native language is just uh, I don't know. Like, don't really. Eh, like me. Hi. Alright. Uh. Anyway, sorry. Okay. Hmm. My goal after completing this subject. Well, basically, I want to be fluent in English. So when I'm fluent, I could properly speak, properly speak, and not just typing in. Typing like perfect English in keyboards anymore, but like actually speak good English, like fluent, like native fluency. That's what I want. Yep, that's good. What about Jennifer? What about you, Jennifer? Yeah. Can you tell us? How was your experience in learning English? Well, it was fun, fantastic, and interesting because it's not my mother tongue. And yeah, how do you learn English in your daily life? I'm watching YouTube, listening to music, and FaceTiming my friend from another country so I can practice face to face like that number three what is your goal after completing this subject i wish i can speak english fluently and i can help my friend that not good in english that's it thank you Okay. Yep, that's great. That's great story you have. All right. So thank you for sharing with us about your experience in learning English, and then how do you learn English after that? Your goal after completing the subject. Yeah, I noticed that. Most of you learn English since the very early age. Your friends said that you learn it since the kindergarten level, and then you also learn it from watching movies and then from watching YouTube. Book, reading books, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that is the fun way and interesting way to learn English. Yeah, pasti asik banget ya kalau kita nonton YouTube, nonton vlog yang kita suka. Yeah, jadi bukan hanya menghibur. It's not just entertaining, but we get the education value. Jadi kita juga dapat nilai pendidikannya. Okay. All right, and if you feel that you have the difficulties in learning English, never stop trying. Okay, never stop trying. Never give up, and don't worry to make mistakes. Yeah, jangan takut untuk buat kesalahan. Okay, because we still learning and after you know your mistakes setelah you tahu kesalahan you you will learn it you will learn how to be better in the future okay so never stop learning and trying because in this class we will solve that problem ya kita berusaha mengatasi masalah itu okay All right. Can you hear my voice clearly? Can you still? 
Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the next slide. I'm going to share with you about the class rules. Actually, I have posted this earlier on our Google Classroom. Uh, allow me once again to explain it more. So the first one, you have to be the good and obedient student. Yeah, You have to respect your teacher, respect your parents and friends. Okay? So when your teacher explains something, not just Caleb, but also the other teacher, you must pay attention seriously to them. You must listen to their explanation. And then we must obey our parents for sure and respect your friends. For example, your friends make a mistake in, learn in, in his or her pronunciation. So don't laugh at them. Don't laugh at them. Don't mock them. Jangan diejek. And don't reject them. Because each of us, setiap dari kita, has the different obstacles in learning English. But that's okay. Yeah, We can keep learning and trying, trying, and trying. I get this good quote from rachelkerman.com that obedience is doing what I have been asked completely, joyfully, and with complaint. Yeah? Joyfully and without complaint. That is the first value that we have to understand. And then this one, the second one, we must try to speak English in our virtual class. Since this is the English class, so we must try it. Whether it's right or wrong, but we have to try to speak English. Don't be afraid if you make mistakes or errors because we learn together okay okay we often found this first yeah kita sering ketemu kalimat ini practice makes perfect okay practice makes perfect so don't worry to make the errors so i cannot understand i cannot say in english then how is it okay you can use digital dictionaries or written dictionaries to help you understand the difficult words. Yeah, jadi kita karena ini bagian dari latihan. Okay, it's part of the practice. But when you do the task, kalau lagi ujian, when you do the task, don't use it. Jangan dipakai, because it is a test. But in the learning process, you can use dictionary, ya, boleh pakai kamus, to help you understand the difficult words. Jadi kata-kata yang sulit kita bisa cari di kamus. Okay? Ah, this is the good quote, kutipan yang bagus nih. Take a look. You never fail until you stop trying. Jadi seseorang dikatakan gagal kalau dia berhenti mencoba. Okay? You never fail until you stop trying. So I hope you don't stop trying because it is the part of your learning process. So don't be anxious or don't feel hesitate when you make mistakes in English. Okay, you never fail until you stop trying. Sure. So keep learning to achieve our better skills in the future. Okay, and then this one, this is important. We must actively sure. 
participate yeah actively participate in the discussion or quiz because active students will get points and the good score okay you must be the best student in my class actively participate okay and then the next point is join the class on time not more than 15 minutes late so make sure you don't join the class make sure you attend the class earlier okay not more than 15 minutes late and then the next rule is if you feel don't well or if you feel that you can class please confirm your absence or permission through whatsapp okay this is my number and Sorry. students are not allowed since more than three times yes Sir. Um, can I close my camera because my battery is low? Okay, okay. All right, so you must confirm your absence or permission via WhatsApp. And tell me the reason why do you need to do that? Ah, this one is important. While the class starts, students must wear uniform, of course. Don't wear t-shirt or short pants but you must wear uniform yeah i said them wear uniforms according to the schedule the second jadwal and okay look at this one pay attention not allowed to play the game mobile legend game dota game free fire game yeah don't play the game or launch other application in gadgets that are not related to the learning process. So when we learn, don't open YouTube, don't browse your Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, but you must, to, you must focus, okay, in this class. Don't eat when your friends or teacher present the material, but you can drink, okay? Drinking will be okay. And the last but not least, please submit the assignment on time. All right? Please submit the assignment on time. This is the code of our Google Classroom. If you haven't joined the Google Classroom, you can enter this code. H A C double V to x okay this is the code of our google classroom and this is the schedule for our class if there is no change the program this will be the fix we will learn about offering help offering suggestion To the other person okay offering and respond to suggestions and then in the second chapter we will learn how to express our opinion yeah? and talk express opinion and talk agreeing on opinion disagreeing on opinion and then after that we will learn how to invite others yeah undangan how to invite others whether it's formal or informal and then we all to respond to some invitation after that before midterm test we will have the review and you can ask 
the question if you haven't understood the material we will talk about it later uh, whether we use google form or class pintar okay we will talk about that later and then after that we will learn how to about exposition text the concept of exposition text the structure in it the language features and then the last one we will learn how to write the formal and informal letter that we will have the review before we have the final test okay okay how about the scoring system the scoring system it's easy this is the detail okay the daily assessment attendance yeah kehadiran attendance discussion quiz assignment presentation etc it will be 60% jadi 60% penilaiannya dari situ 60% and then after that midterm test 20% the last one is final term test 20% so the equal is the total is 100% all right okay that is the first introduction that what will we learn and what we will do in this class i hope you can enjoy this class next week and I hope you can get the better result than the previous semester. All right? Okay, everyone? Do you understand? Okay, sir. Okay, click raise hand. If you understand, click raise hand. Okay. Good.